what I'm about to teach you, the framework that I'm about to teach you, you really can apply to your personal and your professional life. So what we're going to do today is talk about the active growth feedback framework, which is a way of giving feedback that takes into account what conscious leadership looks like. So conscious leadership is, you know, the kind of leadership that's holistic, empathetic and growth centric that benefits both the employee and the organization. And so I came up with the active growth feedback framework when I was trying to think about how I could infuse the elements of growth, uh, conscious leadership that I really love into a way of giving feedback. So the roadmap we're going to have for today is we're going to understand what the essence of conscious leadership is, which I have talked about in Growth Day before. Then we'll dive into why feedback is important and then we'll explore the active framework. So conscious leadership is a leadership style that emphasizes personal growth empathy and a genuine connection it's not just what we achieve but it's how we achieve it so if you could think about a leader you've admired in your life and maybe you could put someone down in the chat what made them different most likely it was their conscious approach it was their approach that did emphasize growth it was their approach that did have empathy it was their approach that does foster genuine connections. I feel like Brendan is a perfect example of a conscious leader. You know, we're all in growth day because of how much he emphasizes personal and professional growth. And then feedback. Feedback, like I said at the beginning, is a cornerstone of professional growth. So it's like, imagine driving without a GPS or cooking without tasting along the way. That's a career without feedback. So Feedback, when it's seen in the right way, is actually a gift to your employees. It's not just a gift to your organization so that you're able to get better results, but it's a gift to your employees. Or if you don't run your own company, it's a gift to your team. If you are the one being given feedback, it's a gift to you. Tiffany said, intentional action and conversations stand out to me in great leaders. 100%. 100%. So, What we need to do is ensure that feedback is effective and nurturing, right? And really, it's ideal if we create a culture of feedback where we give feedback in the moment, we give feedback when it's timely, we give feedback on a continuous basis so that we are all able to continue growing and learning and those around us are able to continue growing and learning. And so the active framework, it stands for awareness, clarity, trust building, intention, value add, empowerment, and evolution. So each component component is a pillar that can turn feedback into a really transformative process. And I hope that it can take the fear away from giving or receiving feedback, because I think when the right environment is not set up and when feedback maybe isn't given through the right lens or framework, like you've heard everyone speak about, especially Brendan um, this month, when it's not given in the right way, feedback can then turn someone into feeling very defensive. It could turn someone into completely shutting down. Or if it's given to us in the wrong way, it can make us feel really criticized, not good enough. It can bring up all of our things. It can bring up all of our stuff. And so we have to really consider the whole person when we are giving feedback. And so when I walk you through the active framework, my hope is that you don't just think about this the next time you are in a feedback session, but maybe you write this down and you have this somewhere. And once a month, you can check in, you can journal on it and growth day of, okay, how am I fostering a culture of feedback and are there some pillars in here that I could be applying more to my organization so the first one is awareness so self-assessment here is really important whenever you're about to give feedback it's really important that you recognize your own emotions and your own biases understand if you're in a reactive or a responsive state that is really incredibly important so Before you go into a feedback session or before you give feedback, even if it's in the moment, first take a minute to just check in with yourself. Is this my emotion that is forming a story here? Is this my bias towards this person or towards 
previous circumstances? Is this a bias that is forming this feedback? And then secondly, am I in a reactive or a responsive state? So a reactive state is where you kind of act without thinking. It's very fast. Responsive state is you are responding and it's thoughtful. You're responding in a way that's actually thoughtful and it's going to be a lot more approachable. It's going to be a lot more well received. And so that's part one of the awareness section. The next thing you really want to think about is having mindful communication. So engaging with your complete attention, making sure that you're mentally present throughout the whole feedback session, right? Make sure you are fully present throughout the whole feedback session. I think this is incredibly important and it kind of stops me from responding really quickly in Slack with feedback or in WhatsApp or texting, especially with employees or even, you know, responding really quickly back to an email. I like to think about how I can communicate mindfully and what this will often look like is hopping on a call so that I can be completely present with that person If that's not necessarily what's called for, it's not possible, maybe a voice note would be better than something typed out. And again, all of us, you know, mindful communication means something different to every single one of us. So maybe you're really great with words and it's a really good way of putting together your thoughts that when you when you get in a call with them, you have already typed out your thoughts and you know you're going to hit all of your points. I have a team member who's also a manager in my organization and she really prefers to write out all of her points that she wants to get across and she'll send it ahead of time and this means that someone gets a chance to really digest it before hopping on a call and that's her personal approach to mindful communication and I really think every single one of us has a completely different approach to mindful communication we really want to be thinking about you know, what works best for us? Is it calls? Is it voice notes? Is it really thoughtful writing? I don't think there's a right or wrong way. Of course, whenever you get the chance to be face to face with someone, I think that's helpful. But I really don't think that there is a right or a wrong way. So I really, as as I'm sharing this, I really want you to be thinking about this through the lens of what are your strengths? And maybe what are the ways in which you think you could deliver feedback and, and do the job the best? How could we think about incorporating that? So awareness is the bedrock of feedback. It's understanding our own biases and emotions. How many times have we misinterpreted feedback due to the emotions that are clouding it? So many times. And then to be fully aware means to engage both rationally and emotionally, ensuring that the feedback isn't just heard, but it's felt. And so are you able to present your feedback in a rational, logical way, but are you dropped in to your body? Are you dropped into your emotions that you can also bring that in? Because people feel very safe when you engage rationally and emotionally. If you engage just rationally, people might feel like there's a bit of emotion missing and that might be really hard for them to take. If you engage just emotionally without the rationality, we all know how that goes. It often doesn't go very well. And so bringing them both together and making sure you're responsive is a recipe for success. This can be your day for personal growth. This can be that day you committed to and you remember and you go, that was the day I got myself a community. I got better coaches. I committed to making my life the absolute best that I could. This is that day. Make today your growth day. Click the button on this page and sign up right now.